Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how you can get PDF files from a folder which is residing in a document set in SharePoint Online Library. So this is part one of this video. I will be creating the second video also of this uh, segment or this part where I will be showcasing that how you can send those PDF files in an email as attachment. So let's get started with this video. Uh, here what I'm going to show you is that there is a document library. This is a scenario which I will talk in this video where I will have a document library in SharePoint online and then there will be a document set which is created within that library. My library name is PP demo document set. The document set name will be demo by Whipple that I've already created in the backend. And then there will be a folder with the name base underscore MS. In this scenario, what I have considered is that your document set is already created and your folder naming convention or nomenclature remains the same. So what we are going to see here in this video now that how you can get the PDF files via Power Automate, which is residing, the PDF files are residing in this folder. So let's say this folder can have Excel files, Word documents, images and PDF files. But target in this video is to just to get the PDF files. So let's see this in action. So what I have is currently a document library, PP document set. Having a document set demo by Whipple. This is the document set which is already created. If I go inside this document set, there is already a folder which is created with the name base underscore ms. Now inside this base underscore ms folder, I have some files out of these two files are PDF files. And my target in this video to showcase you that how you can get the PDF files in Power Automate. So let's see that in action in Power Automate. In Power Automate as usual, what I'm doing is some basic variables which I create generally as a template in all my videos, you must have seen that. So in this case, I am manually triggering a flow. This is my trigger. I am initializing a variable for, for the folder path. Now in this case, my folder path, I already know. In your case, it could be dynamic also. So this is document library name. This is document set name and base underscore MS is my folder name. Here I am just creating another variable to check if folder exists or not, because it might be a case that inside this document set whether this folder really exists or does not exist that also you should check always. I am creating a variable of type array which will be the collection which will hold all my PDF files. These are some basic variables as I said for each workflow for each flow in Power Automate you should also use that which is flow ID, run ID and environment name. So flow ID is nothing but workflow.name flow run id is workflow dot run dot name and environment name is workflow dot text dot environment name and at the end i concatenate all these variable to create the flow run instance or flow run url now coming to the main part of this video what i'm doing here is i'm sending an http request to sharepoint i am using a rest api url here which checks whether that folder exists or not i am passing a folder path variable which I already created at the top. So this is my site address. I am doing the method get URI is a REST API URL to check whether the folder exists or not. Once I get the response of this particular action, I am doing the parse JSON. I am passing the body uh, body output of the send HTTP request action. Then I'm setting a variable where folder exists. So where folder exists for already created. I am just passing the value. Then I am just taking the condition whether that folder exists, yes or no. Whether the variable value is equal to true or false. If it is true, then it goes to this section. It get the file properties of all the PDF files, of all the files basically in the base MS folder. Then here I am applying to each on all, iterating on all the files which is there in my base underscore MS folder. So at this step, basically apply to each is iterating over 
all the files which is available in the folder. Now here, this is the very important part of this flow where I am checking a condition. I am checking a condition is folder is equal to false, which means I am only talking about the file. So whenever you check the properties of any file in SharePoint, the is folder, is folder property is always false for file. At the same time, I am also checking an AND condition that file name should contain file name property of the file. File name with extension property of the file should contain PDF small or PDF capital. If it is true, then I am taking the file content, get file content using path action. I am just taking the full path here and then I am appending the uh, variable to that array variable which I created at the top. So that is how you can uh, get the file properties and append to the array variable. For appending to the array variable, please remember you need these three properties, content, file name and content type. Content will be the body of the get file content. File name is file name with extension and content type is content type property of the apply to each. Now, this is the flow overall which I wanted to show you. Now, let's run this flow or test this flow basically because we have already have a manual trigger. So, I'm just testing the flow by running it manually or triggering it manually. So I am running the flow now. Now it's done. And you can see the flow has started running. And now you can see the flow has ran successfully. So let's understand each actions or variables which have created, which we have created. So you see here the flow ID. Flow ID is this. And then finally I create the complete flow URL, which is the complete flow URL make.powerautomate.com environments default flows slash runs and the id now going inside the try try scope or try block i am sending the http request to sharepoint and then to check whether the folder exists or not it is giving me exist as true because the folder exists within my document set now it is parsing the json it is setting the variable where folder exists equal to true now it goes to the true condition because folder exists. It goes to the true condition. It gets the files, get files. Now you can see here it gets all the files. Then it's applied to each. It checks the condition whether it contains the PDF or not. Finally, it get, gets the file using content path. And finally, it appends to the variable. And at the end, I have used a compose action to get the count of files. And you can see here we had the two PDF files and I'm getting the output as two, which is the number of PDF files present in my folder. So that's all in this video. In this video, we have learned that how you can get the PDF files from a folder in a document set. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.